Happy summer, sweaty face this is why I do top down videos. Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. I'm Rebecca, creator of Ganji Plans printables. You can find them at ganjiplans.com slash shop. Every month for the first video of every month, I like to post a uh, overview of all the inserts released the previous month, give you an idea of my thought process behind designing them, the things that I use them for, um, the ideas I had for their use and to hopefully give you some inspiration and ideas for your own planner system. So today we're going over all the inserts released in July 2021. In case you haven't been around my channel, I kind of made the whole thing of it, sort of, but um, this month I had sort of a theme. I was doing daily planning and so those five inserts that I released this month are all insert are all daily inserts. So we'll jump right in with the first one, number 45. This is, I believe it's called Daily with Weather Doodle. I'm pretty proud of this little weather doodle. So let me zoom in and show you. Um, the idea here is if you like me are not particularly great at doodling, um, or it just takes a lot of effort that you don't want to put in, uh, maybe you either don't like weather stickers, don't find the need for weather stickers or whatever, but you like the idea of a weather doodle this is for you. So it's all very light on here and the idea is you trace over it. Um, there's a picture on the website of uh, some different styles and ideas. You can do just sun or you can put the sun behind the cloud um, and you just trace over the part that you need. So I've been using this the last couple of days and really liking it um, and I was I just have sunny weather here so I just circle the sun and then there's a little right here and here as well. Um, my idea for rain was you do just one direction so like the diagonal here for rain and then if it's snow you do the whole little flake um, and then you can put the cloud or not, sun or not and there you go. Uh, other than that well, I guess I should stay zoomed in here to show you the top because that's where all the exciting part is. Um, high weather, low weather, you know, high temperature and low temperature. Then you can circle or highlight the day of the week and the month of the year. And then all you have to actually write out is um, the the day, like the date itself. Um, so that, that saves, like it would take a lot of space to list all of the dates to circle. So I figured that's easy enough. Everyone can write a number, uh, but if they don't feel confident in their lettering or doodling abilities, this is great. But the rest of the insert has, um, it's pretty bare bones. It's got a checklist down half of it and then like note space at the bottom. Uh, like I said, I've been using this last couple of days and I'm actually really liking the freedom it gives me to sort of explore more, you know, freeform styles because I've been using um, Insert 22 also for my shop for the last two months, um, which is, you know, it gets kind of samey after a while. It works. Um, and then also, like, I always want to try to reach out and challenge myself to try something new. So I slept a little washy in the corner and it, it looks really good. So that's Insert 45. 46 um, is pretty basic. Also, this is two days per page. So for days when you don't feel like you want to waste an entire page for one, you know, not super crazy day, uh, there's room for the day of the week and the date uh, top three. And then instead of there being checkboxes all the way down, it's just grid. So you can add the checkboxes or dots yourself, or you can just use it as note space decoration. If I guess you're really, really not busy. I still like these kind of boxes at the bottom that I use for things like, you know, dinner and then here or, you know, evening and then I write a couple evening plans. Um, just having separate sections. I went all over all of this in my um, favorite dailies video, which kind of went over things that I like in dailies and the logic behind them. So that's why I like having these sections. Insert 47 is a health inspired daily. So again, you have a nice column that you can use for to do's, notes or whatever. But then on the outside column, you have space to list your meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, calories for the whole day, if you're counting calories, space to track water, uh, up to eight cups a day, and then activity. That's a very, I like to use as generic terms as possible. So it doesn't have to be exercise, it can be something you know, low impact, but get up and moving a little bit. Um, steps, if you have a pedometer and you're counting. And then I put, again, log. This could be anything. This could be um, for an exercise goal, for a food goal. Um, it could be tracking your weight. Um, I doubt anyone thinks it's a good idea to track your weight every single day, though. So I didn't want to put weight and have it be on a daily. Um, that seems a little bit obsessive and unhealthy, but it could be for any of that kind of thing, uh, anything that you're keeping track of over time, you can log it here. Um, 
And so I figured a real generic title would make this as open-ended as possible for your use case, whether you're trying to gain or lose or maintain or have nothing to do, just get stronger, um, that kind of thing. Just get more active. I need to just get more active. I need to stretch more often. I tweaked my neck last night. Uh, insert 48 is uh, for a cleaning focus. So this one is if your house is a wreck and you're trying to get it under control. And so in one particular day, you can say your focus area could be an area of the house, could be, you know, all of the dusting, or it could be specifically like a room. You can say, you know, master bedroom. It's a mess because I never get around to cleaning the master bedroom because the baby sleeps in there. Um, <laughs> there's a general to-do list. This could be for anything. Um, you know, you should probably do other things too besides just cleaning. Uh, daily tasks are things that you want to try to do every single day. And I was trying to find a way that didn't make this repetitive for having to write it out every day. But the idea is like, there's things that they take up space in your brain. You know, if you're supposed to empty the dishwasher every day, but if you don't have a space to check it off, you might not feel motivated. And if you don't have a place to write it down, you might feel like it's just rattling around in your head and you don't have anywhere to set it down. And it just adds to your mental load. So daily tasks here, things that should be routine, but maybe, maybe are, maybe aren't. Then um, these are different sections. So like I do tend to categorize my days in sections. So like morning might be before work. Afternoon might be, you know, while the, the kids are napping or something like that. Evening, maybe after dinner or um, before bed. Like this is the last few things I want to get done before bed. So you can kind of categorize your day there so that you're not stressing yourself out in the morning or pro uh, procrastinating everything until the evening. Pomodoros here are great for sprints. Um, they don't have to be Pomodoros, I guess. You could do any kind of sprinting method. Um, 2010s from uh, IFYH, which I'm not going to say the full name of out loud on my family channel. Um, but you can, you know, check off with the idea of tracking a Pomodoro is if you're not familiar, it's 25 minutes on five minute break four times. And then you take like a 15 minute break. So every time you do one leg of that Pomodoro, you like outline a, a side of the square. So that's why they're squares. And then extra space for notes because you can always use more extra space for notes. And then the last insert, 49, is um, maybe my favorite. It's the productivity focus. We've got a Kanban board at the top. We've got um, Pomodoros here again. And then we've got next action items, which are a GTD concept. So kind of a mishmash of all kinds of different productivity tools, whatever is feeling, uh, speaking to you in the moment you can use. Um, because I, I don't know, you always kind of got to switch up between different productivity methods in order to get the most out of them. Um, I'm going to squeeze in just a little more so you can see, because it is pretty densely packed. So you've got what your project is. Identify your main project. You know, not general busyness. This is what we're working on today. Next action items for that. Here, I find this really useful for me sometimes, especially on a daily, especially if I'm not feeling motivated. <clears throat> Identify which is the quickest task. Did I get the ball rolling? Which is the hardest task so that you can maybe front load that also because a lot of times you just don't want to do a certain thing. Maybe it's a phone call. It's probably a phone call. Then biggest impact. What is the thing that you can do today that will make you feel the most like you've got something good done today? So there you go. You can do your Pomodoros or whatever technique you want to um, actually focus time. Notes um, are things that are not necessarily actionable. And the next steps coming up are um, going to be things that, um, that you can't do yet, but we'll need to either go back and live on a project page or be here to reference later. So you can be like, all right, I sent that email. Um, you can put a note here about who you emailed and why. Next steps, follow up. You know, that kind of thing. Things that you can't do yet. So I think this is pretty cool, pretty useful. I actually this week have been, I set one of these up not for a daily, but kind of for the whole week because I didn't even realize until it came time to actually set it up and use it that this could be used for a whole week too. So I set up some things on the to-do um, Kanban board that I'm planning to sort of put an arrow and move over to doing and then done as I do them. Um, I haven't identified the quickest task yet, which I think is why I haven't gotten underway on this particular project very much. I have. I've done okay. Um, anyway, so that's what I'm using that for. And uh, I've got five dailies. I hope you like them.
Let me know down in the comments which of those designs you like the best, or let me know if you just don't do daily planning at all. Uh, don't worry, I haven't forgotten you. I'm gonna be doing a focus month like that for months, years, and weeks as well, um, but in the future. Looking forward to next month. Um, in August, I'm going to be releasing a one bundle for something that happens in November. So that's your hint, um, and keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, I post videos every Thursday about my planner system and productivity in general, so don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell, and I'll see you in the next video next Thursday. Bye!